Hi everybody, welcome to Post Match Villa. Uh, just a quick video tonight. Um, as you know, we're going to start doing features with videos and stuff like that. So, um, just uh, a recap of what's happened. Really, two nil uh, at the time. It took us top of the league. We, were, you know, we have got a game in hand. I thought tonight, first half, we wasn't fantastic. You know, there was a lot of sloppy play. Second half, it was much better. Um, from 70 minutes we rocked a little bit I thought Villa had a, you know, a few good chances to, to go ahead but goals win games uh, and when we've got a defence like I've you know we've got now we've always got a chance of, of winning a game now um, so yeah 2-0 was it off, was it offside the first goal in my opinion no uh, penalty I thought it was a great penalty from Gundogan uh, who for me is again I've had a had a good second half, and I think he's had a, a good season for us so far. Uh, with regards to uh, with the match itself, I thought Gabriel Jesus I thought he often puffed when he came on, but you know, I think we need a little bit more, and I, th I think we do need a striker. But we'll go, we'll go into things like that as as the as the days go on before the transfer window closes. So yeah, two two nil uh, tonight after the match. I, I caught with with Mike Devlin and Anne Marie Carte from who you, you you'll know from the group. You know with uh, who are our admin. They they came to join me for a, a little chat, and this is what they had to say. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, good, good evening, evening to Mike and also Anne Marie from. from from the group, uh, you've probably seen them knocking around there at some point, pulling you all in line. So, what a great result tonight, guys. 2-0 two two against Aston Villa, when it, it, at times, if I'm honest, I didn't think we was going to score because it was bobbling about the line. Villa had their chances, so it took us top of the league. And as it stands at the moment, Fulham are beating... Manchester United 1-0 what's your thoughts Mike? Um, I honestly thought the, the uh, centre back pairing for Aston Villa were absolutely outstanding they were just phenomenal they were throwing themselves at everything that was coming their way and like you said I, I for quite a while I didn't think we were going to get through because it, it, they were just it, they weren't like Everyone back behind the ball, like we've seen in several matches. I thought it was, I thought it was, an, I thought it was an entertaining game for, for the neutral, but it's different when you when you're in the thick of it as the as the you know the supporter. Yeah, if you're invested. Yeah, I thought that early early chance by Bernardo uh, about you know in I think it was about after 14 minutes something like that where it just just seemed to hit the keeper. Really, that that that's a game changer. That and I think. That, that along with some, some of the, so, I, I thought, thought some of our passing was really poor in the first half. half. I thought it was a slow, slow build up. We were uh, snappy. Yeah. We yeah. Yeah. just yeah. weren't finding yeah. the pace. Let's, let's not take that, that, that way from Villa because because Villa Villa's a results have not been reflective of the performances this season so far. So yeah, you know, this takes us top of the league. What what's your thoughts, Amory, on on Raheem Sterling's performance tonight? <sighs> me is is been poor for weeks, months. If we're honest, I think um, I don't know. His decision making is shocking at times, um, and you can just see he's lacking confidence. But you know, if you had to push me on it, I'd play him every day of the week over some other people. What what? <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 I, 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 know I know what you mean. mean. We'll, we'll get we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll get to our, our fa favorite player in a, in a moment. So, so with, with Sterling, is it for, for me? I think since he's been pushed over to the right, that that's affecting his performance. When he plays on the left and he's coming inside, and you know where he, he can shoot on on his right, I think that's his strongest position. His free kick, for instance. And, you know, in, in, the la in the last match against Palace, you know, his free kick, that shows his confidence on, when, he's, when he's coming in on, on his right. He's a, he's a lot more useful there, but I agree. Yeah, but, but, but then you look at the penalty. 
yeah. you look, look at his penalty, penalty you know <laughs> it's, it's it's as, as if, if he gets, gets into the position where he's whether it's a penalty whether it's one on one with the keeper and he doesn't know what to do and it's and I think it's a difficult one I think, I think he needs a rest, and I think, think we've got, got to utilise Foden a lot more. You watch it. All right, you might not have scored or anything tonight, but for me, Foden had a great game tonight because he had the beating of the... Yeah, yeah. Oh, second half he had a great game. And, and that's one of my notes what I wrote down here. Foden, sloppy in the first half. I thought he was really sloppy. Um, second half, he was absolutely fantastic. You know, the way he was, you know, Jinxing inside, yeah, outside, outside and stuff like that. But first half, half slop it. Um, but he's a much better outlet. And I think De Bruyne loves playing with Foden, you know, with, yeah. with a link-up play. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And I think one of the other things that was noticeable was, um, you know, I have to say, I was quite relieved that Walker went off. Yeah. Because I don't think Walker's necessarily played great. I know, obviously, there's been... The, the virus, virus and whatever else, but, but Cancelo for me has got to be one of our most improved players in a long time because he makes a difference when he's playing on the right hand side. As people will see me uh, promoting that fact, yes, I know. Yes, you do. I do think Cancelo has had an absolutely fantastic season, and I thought he made a little bit of a difference. Uh, as you say, when Walker went off, yeah, obviously we don't want players injured. But it's, it's a much, much better option for us with Walker. You could even play Walker at right back in, in Cancelo for further forward. Yeah. Uh, but I think Zinchenko, since he's come back in, has been play, has been playing really, really well. Uh, it's with, the, with regards to the whole performance tonight, Mike. What do you think? That's because there's a lot of. A lot of games, you know, uh, like th effectively three three games a week. Um, it takes its toll, of course. You know, I mean, it, there's only so much you can do, and you've only got so many players to do it. Um, but we've stepped up to the plate, and we're finding our groove again, and we're grinding those results out. Because let, let's not forget today's match or this evening's match was it was difficult. Because, as you said, we didn't step up to the plate in the first half. We were finding all pockets of space. And we were too busy passing around a penalty area. Not really is, that do, is, is that doing Villa a disservice, though? Because I thought, I thought they played very well, Villa. Oh, Villa were brilliant. I mean, if it had ended nil-nil, it probably would have been the best nil-nil I've seen in recent memory. Because it had everything. I mean, yeah. the, the yeah. manager got sent off, for goodness sake. You know, and we get the crossbar and, you know, there's contentious issues and this, that, and the other. And, and we were hitting them hard and they just kept throwing themselves at it. Let's, 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 talk, let's, let's talk about the goals um, before, before, we, before we started re um, recording. Uh, yeah, I, 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 me, me and Anne-Marie was talking and she has a little bit and she, she'll, 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 I'm sure she'll put her back. <laughs> I, I, I thought there was nothing up with a goal regardless of what Peter Walton said. Even even Peter, Peter Walton when he was challenged, challenged on it when he was in the studio had to, had to put his hands up and say, you know, that uh, Rodri was actually being played on side by, by Tyrone Mings. And I totally agree. I think there was nothing up with the goal. What's your thought? No, no, there wasn't. Because I, was, and I mentioned this to Mrs. as we were watching the match. And I said, it's not a new rule. This has always been a thing. You, you cannot be offside if you're played on by the opposition. And you cannot be offside from a throw in. You know? And these are not new things. And so because Mings chested it down, and forgot he was right behind him, it's perfectly fine. It doesn't matter what Rio Ferdinand says on PT4. You know? Yeah. Uh, with, 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 with regards to the penalty, any... any um, maybe a little bit harsh, but I can see why they gave it. Yeah. And Marie? Nothing, Nothing harsh about it. it. So, his hand was above his head, head so, so it's in an unnatural position. position. So, so it, it has to be humble. His head is just slightly wide, 
So, Anne-Marie, with regards to the first goal, I know we had a difference of opinion before we started recording. What's your opinion on the first goal? Um, I think it's about understanding the rules because when it's been explained on BT by Peter Walton, he actually read the rules out of the book. Rummy Peter Walton. Because, because he, he said, you know, the ball had been deliberately played by Tyrone Mings. That he was he was onside. Now, I, because the ball had even touched Tyrone Mings, I would have said he was on that that Rodri was onside anyway. But I think it's it is a difficult one. If if you were if it was the other way around, would have been screaming for offside. So if we look at it that way. Yes, you would. Don't lie. No, but here's the thing, Steve. Because I said that the ball wasn't heavy for the net. If it was the play would have been sent off for Hamlet because he's stuck in a goal. So that's why I said it may be a little bit harsh. Well, they both, they both counted. It's give us three three valuable points for us to the top of the league tonight. You know, so, you know, I see you raising a glass there for top of the league, Mike. What, what are you drinking tonight? Abbott. Abbott Ale. Abbott Ale? Yes. I didn't think it was Abbott and Costello. Hi right. <laughs> right, guys, th th thanks for doing our first um, post-match uh, video chat. Uh, there'll be plenty more coming for anybody in the group who wants to join in post-match. You know, we can get everybody involved, and you know, hopefully, it'll be all positive stuff for the rest of the season. Yeah. Guys, hoping. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us, guys. Um, thanks, Andy. We'll be up on the group very, very soon. Take care, everyone. So there you go, that was the reaction from Mike Devlin and Anne-Marie Carty from our group. Uh, if you want to get involved with any aspects of the video chat, whether it's for the match, whether it's for quizzes, what we'll be bringing in, uh, transfer rumours and stuff like that, by all means uh, just put your comments below. Uh, as you can see the Twitter feeds going across there, drop us a message on the on the Twitter feed and we'll get you done for the any of what I've already mentioned so thanks for joining guys and we'll see you very shortly goodbye now